into the exchange of information aspect, aspects, into looking into the capabilities that we use for operations that will enhance those operations and provide real-time intelligence for quick solution projects. And we may look into all the other future engagements that might look into the development of the two users. We believe that if a country is up to be strong, their military should talk to each other. They should train with each other. They should develop the same language with each other. So that the whole issue can be in our parties between the militants. The way you deal with civil society and integrating the legal system is also in our concerns. But I can tell you one thing which I've learned this morning. That is, is both in our process, but I don't think we understood it the, the same way you understand. I've learned a great deal this morning on what we'll be putting on our own heads to make sure that we understand that what, what, does, what we mean when we say a joint kind of operations. We're looking soon, for instance, for Nigeria, Nigeria army will be having an exchange that is happening in our college, in the other city. And it is exactly not for him to help impart knowledge to our business. But that college is looking into the operational level or taking into the strategic level. Then, if we have got a very critical country in our continent, such as Nigeria, in that level, we are likely going to be able to look into the all very much involved R and D issues, including the insecurity we are experiencing uh, in that region. Right now, we, we have the uh, I think conference going on uh, in Germany. You know, on uh, the Lake Chad uh, initiative, and we hope uh, tangible results will uh, come out from that. Uh, there is a master plan for the Lake Chad uh, region, but as a military, and how do we transfer this in, you know, uh, to develop the capacity you know, to be able to address uh, the insecurity, the innovations we are doing, our capability to produce the relevant platforms like the MRAP that uh, we, we, we helped to produce in collaboration with Profos. Uh, we've also uh, produced this through innovation, the infantry patrol vehicle IPV, that is popularly called, and, uh, and a, host of, a host of others. Uh, these are issues that uh, we really need to take it you know, seriously. The issue of uh, uh, intelligence you know, platforms to be able to gather uh, real-time intelligence, you know, we really need to go further to develop uh, that capacity. But uh, at this point, we must utilize what is on the ground, and from there we build up and then uh, have a more self-reliant uh, capability to be able to handle it. Um, we participated in some exercises which I mentioned you know, in South Africa, and it caused across the strata, you know, both tactical, uh, operational, and uh, strategic. So uh, this are the level, but how do you translate it to other places? Um, this is, will depend upon our commitment and uh, the available resources for us to deploy in all the areas that are, that are, uh, that are needed. So we we'll continue to train. We have received the officers that have trained in Jaji, uh, in Nasi, in the staff college also. And uh, he mentioned one of their strategic officers who is working on uh, the transformation of the South African Army, their concept which has been developed. He received his training at the command and staff college, and um, he is making great impact in that, in that regard. And I uh, will explore areas where we can really translate it, apart from the, at this strategic level, we also go further 
to consolidate on the operational uh, level.